All right, this is a computer case with uh, some Tangban three inch, uh, four inch drivers in a ported enclosure using the hard drive rack. And there's a TDA 7492 amplifier inside with a voltage booster to boost the 12 volts from the ATX to 16 volts. And then it just gets uh, feeds right out of the headphone output on the back of the motherboard. I did have to use a voltage divider to uh, lower the voltage coming out of the headphone output because otherwise I had to have the volume like way down here at six. So I did a, a 10K divided by two and a half K. So like, like four, a four to one ratio. And that allowed me to bring it up to about 32. So I'd probably go a little higher if I had to do this again, maybe like a six to one or something. Anyways, we play. This is a Blu-ray. And it gets plenty loud. I like this thing. Uh, Raider! And then put the front on. Here you can see the amplifier, uh, the TDA 7492, and then this is the voltage booster. The voltage comes in from the ATX supply. 12 volts, and then this boosts it up to 16, which then goes to here, and then goes down here through the, this is, I enclosed the uh, hard drives bay with these aluminum sheet panels, cut them with a circular saw, and then sealed it. I used some epoxy to hold it in place, and then I sealed it with silver colored silicon, so it's pretty hard to actually see the silicon. It blends in really well and uh, works really good. Here's where the cable comes out from the backside, going to the amp and then goes right here into the motherboard. And then, so here's where it comes through the back. And then I had this horrible feedback loop I got one of these off Amazon. They're a ground loop isolator, a uh, three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter. It's like eight dollars shipped. And then here's the cable. And then here is where I did the uh, the voltage divider. There's some resistors and stuff uh, soldered in there in line with the wires. And then it goes in through here to the uh, amplifier. <laughs> 